Did you know that there's about 1 billion people right now using Windows 10? And if you are one of those people, then you are running out of time. And if you're running a business that's using Windows 10 devices, then it's probably even worse for you. In fact, if you're employed in a business that's using Windows 10 devices, then you might want to show this video to your tech support because your devices might be at risk, which would mean that your company is at risk. The last thing you want to have is to lose some business just because your devices were vulnerable. Let me break down exactly what's happening with Windows 10 and how you can fix it. First, I want to thank AMD and their Ryzen Pro for sponsoring this video so I can bring this important information to people who are using Windows 10. In fact, the call to action for this video is really cool. AMD is running this free program for businesses who want to try out Ryzen Pro laptops so if you are interested and want to make sure that the device that you're getting is compatible with what you do, your workflow, then just go check out the link in the video description where you can sign up and try AMD Ryzen Pro laptops for free. How cool is that? Now, I've got one of these business laptops in here. And do I look more businessy? Think bad. Whenever you see that, you should know these guys mean business. And there's not just Lenovo available, there's different makes and parts. So, you know, Ryzen Pro is multiple devices, multiple different brands. You just pick the one that seems to fit your needs the most. Go check them out in the video description below. By the way, if you're wondering what the heck is this here, I just finished a review of the Ryzen Threadripper Pro, which probably just fits in here in this video to mention. This in there is a ridiculous Threadripper Pro. This is the 7995WX and if you are a business that also, you know, needs workstations that maybe run old Windows 10 workstations, then apparently there's some new ones in the description below as well that you can check out. Lenovo does some workstations, so go check them out. But if you want to DIY them, you can actually do them like I did. If you want to know how good that one is, hit subscribe, like the video, it's coming out very, very soon. So what is happening with Windows 10 then? As always, every single product has its lifespan and so does Windows 10. In fact, for Windows 10, the lifespan end date has been set and it is on the 14th of October 2025. What that means is that your device, whether laptop or PC, won't get any more security updates. And when you don't get any more security updates, your devices are vulnerable or your device is vulnerable for cyber attacks, which just means that your data on the device can be breached. And if that device is connected to some other data and servers, there's more of that data that is, you know, potentially at risk. And if you're running a business, that is pretty bad. And I'm sure I don't need to underline why that is bad. Now, what if your device is currently running Windows 10? What can we do? Like, am I just screwed? Well, there are three things that you can try to do to see if you can get a quick fix or a little bit of a longer fix. Number one, check if your device is already compatible with Windows 11. Some of the devices you can just update to Windows 11. And if you're not sure how to do that, go speak to your tech support in your company or something like that and say, look, can this go to Windows 11? Now there is a chance that you can just press update, boom, and your device goes to Windows 11. See you later, you're all sorted. But part of Windows 11's protocol is actually security and you need to have enhanced security. So if you're on a PC, for example, and you're running some of the older motherboards, maybe Ryzen AM4 socket CPUs, we built a few of them and we installed Windows 10 of them, you might need to buy an extra TPM 2.0 module, which is trusted platform module, and you need to just install that into your motherboard for extra hardware security, which Windows 11 wants to make sure that all the devices that run Windows 11 are more secure. The second thing that you can do if you desperately want to run Windows 10 is actually pay for the updates. So there is a way if for some reason buying a whole lot of new Windows 11 devices or you can't update devices, there is an option to keep paying for Windows 10 security updates. Now that to me doesn't seem 
the most reasonable because your maybe four or five year old device that was for free suddenly you have to pay for it which doesn't sound exactly the nicest option for me in certain cases that might be necessary or important to you so you can just keep paying for the updates from october onwards and number three is look for a new laptop device that can support Windows 11 from the get-go with the new hardware and this is where our kind sponsors from AMD with the Ryzen Pro come in. Feel free to check out whichever device you want but in this instant for this video we're going to look at one of these examples here which is this Ryzen Pro device. So this is the ThinkPad T14s and by all means this is not a product review. I just want to show you what Windows 11 devices can do so it's not a particular review of this device but this is the first ThinkPad that I have tried because when I was young, when I was a little boy, I remember playing with my dad's ThinkPad. Anyone remember DX Ball? Yeah, I was playing um, that with my dad's ThinkPad. So, you know, ThinkPad's been around for a long time. It was IBM before. Anyone remember that? Yeah, I'm old enough to remember, not the Lenovo, but IBM. They're just rugged business devices. And there's a few things that kind of make this very good for businesses, businessmen. Next time you take a train, try to upgrade your tickets to first class. Go to first class, see all the businessmen there and have a look how many of them are running ThinkPads or the HP, some kind of pro laptops, ZBooks or something like that. Now the device I have here is a 14 inch laptop. It's running Windows 11. And for the CPU, we've got AMD Ryzen AI7 Pro 360. So it's an eight core CPU, 16 threads, and it's got 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's super fast, 7,500 megahertz. And I'm glad it's 32 gigabytes, not 16. It's plenty for multitasking and whatever device needs. We're running a Kioxia SSD, 500 gigabytes, another enterprise SSD manufacturer. We've got Wi-Fi 7, NPU, which we'll talk about in a minute, and an integrated AMD Radeon graphics. Everything is system on chip on one chip. Now, this is also Copilot Plus because of the NPU. So if we hit that button in here, boom, you can use AI. And it's really cool that ThinkPad is keeping one of their oldest traditions, this red, finger joystick in there oh that brings back some memories this is very very interesting obviously their three button layout plus the trackpad actually the trackpad here is one of the best ones i have used for windows laptop for some reason it is just really easy to get around and very nice interaction with my fingers and i'm not just saying that it's just really nice the keyboard again really really nice and in terms of ports for this particular laptop we have two usb type c ports hdmi port mic and headphone combo jack and then on the other side we've got two usb type a ports and as always kensington luck now let's say you are considering perhaps a ryzen pro laptop what do you actually get and what are some of the benefits and features that ryzen pro offers number one ai on the device ai is getting more and more popular and ai is supported by more and more softwares and workflows and what that basically means is AI, that, you know, smart robot inside can actually complete some of those monotonous tasks for you so you can focus on the more important tasks. And in order for AI to work on your hardware, AI often requires very demanding hardware or specific hardware that can run those demanding AI algorithms because initially that's exactly what AI is. And this is where AMD Ryzen Pro comes in. They've got a built-in chip that has a CPU, GPU, and an NPU. Central processing unit, graphics processing unit, and neural processing unit. NPU is for those dedicated AI tasks, but not exclusively. And when utilizing AI on your workflow, you can significantly make your tasks faster. AMD on their website is posting some of the numbers going up to five times faster. Now in all transparency, your workflow might not actually support AI or can't utilize the hardware inside this PC because it's still fairly new tech and more and more software is rolling out to utilize all of that hardware. You might want to consider this because of your future workflows. Now you don't want to change your laptop in the future again just because the software that you're using now supports AI but you need a new device again. If you're upgrading to Windows 11 might as well get a device that already has an AI hardware acceleration built in and you've got the peace of mind that when something changes in the future 
your hardware is powerful enough to actually run the AI workflows and speed your tasks up even more. Number two, security. And this is probably one of the most important things for most of the businesses. And Windows 11 has a much higher requirements for security than Windows 10, what we just mentioned. And Ryzen Pro laptops have a hardware enhanced security built into the actual chip. So this is not just some antivirus software that is running on your device, making sure that you don't have, you know, viruses in your PC. This is a hardware actual chip inside the device that creates a firewall so that you can't go past it. So anyone wanting to access your device will have to break through that hardware and encryption, which is very, very complicated and a lot harder to do than on Windows 10. Number three, battery life. And AMD Ryzen Pro laptops in 2025 have significantly improved their battery life. Now, AMD on their website says that some of the specific laptop models can go up to 29 hours of battery life. Now, as a business owner, I can't tell you how exciting that is because let's say you've got a really powerful laptop, but if it dies in a couple of hours, what's the point in that? Battery life is arguably one of the most important features on a laptop. But now with the Ryzen Pro, we're talking about a multi-day battery life, which just wasn't possible five years ago. And number four, IT management. The Ryzen Pro laptops have a more simplified and modern IT management. For a laptop user, there's nothing exciting really, but if you are running a business and you're the actual IT guy who has to decide which laptops to get in, then you should know and you should be excited about that because the new IT management on these new laptops is a lot more simple and you'll appreciate the developments AMD has made. You might be saying, well, that sounds promising, but I'm not sure if it actually works for my workflow, for my business, for what we're doing. Well. That's why AMD has created this amazing loaner program that you can check out in the video description below, where basically you can just loan one of these devices and try it out. Now, I'm excited about this because when a brand sponsors our channel, sometimes they're trying to make you buy something, but right now they're just trying to make you try something, which is a lot different. And to me, that makes me excited because that is a very bold claim that a brand makes about their device. Listen, try it out. If you like it, you can get it. If I was a business and I said to you, hey, check out our videos. If you like them, we like them. I'd be pretty confident saying that these videos are helpful for you. You can check out some PC build guides in the video description below, for example, or check out Minect in the video description below if you like to connect. And uh, I'll always get back to my Minect messages within 24 hours. It's a very confident and bold claim to make about your product, about your brand. And this is what AMD is doing here. So from a marketing point of view, it looks pretty good to me. So go share that video to someone who actually is running Windows 10 right now and tell them that their device might be at risk. And this is how to to fix it. Thanks guys for watching and AMD, thank you for sponsoring this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.